Hello guys, lady, welcome back to audiobook. This is not a recommendation. This is definitely not a path I would recommend for anyone wanting to learn to take a company public. There are smarter, easier paths, yet this was the path that was laid out for me. Therefore, I will faithfully describe to you the process by which I came to achieve my goal. In my opinion, everyone must be true to her, her own mental and emotional strain and weaknesses. I am simply relating to the process. I went through one, I knew the next direction in my life. It was not mentally hard, but it was emotionally challenging, as most significant changes in life tend to be. Read that often said, as an individual reality is the boundary between self-confidence and faith. How would draw a diagram that look like this? Okay, so reality, it has self-confidence and faith. He would then say, the boundary of person reality often do not change until that person forsakes what he or she feels confident in and then goes blindly with faith. So many people do not become rich because they are limited by the self-confidence rather than the limitlessness of faith. On that Thursday in the summer of 1996, I was on my way to Ades Mountain to inspect a gold mine that was one mine by the Incas and then the spinach. I was taking a gold step of faith into a world I knew nothing about. Yet because of that step, a whole new world of investing opened up to me. My life was not been the same since I decided to take that step. My reality regarding what is possible financially has not been the same. My reality on how rich a person can become has expanded. The more I continue working with Frank and his team, the further those limits too well expand. Today I continue to expand my limits and I can hear my read dad say, a person is limited only to he or her own realities of what is possible financially. Nothing changes until a person's reality changes, and a person's financial reality will not change until he or she is willing to go beyond the fears and doubt of his or her own selling post limit. Frank kept his word. Upon returning from the trip, I reported back to Frank. The mine was a great mine with strong and proven veins of gold, but it had financial problem as well as many operational challenges. I recommended again acquiring it because the mine had severe social problem and had severe environmental problem that would have cost millions to clean up in order to make the mine operate efficiently. Any new owners would have to downside the force by at least 40%. It would destroy the town economy, I said to Frank. For a century, these people have lived there at 16,000 feet above sea level. Generations of their families are buried there. I do not think it, was, it is right for us to be the one to force them to leave the home of their ancestors, the Sikh group, in the city at the base of the mountain. I think we would have more problems than we want to deal with. Frank agreed with my findings and more importantly agreed to teach me. We were soon looking at mine and oil field in other part of the world and my new chapter in my educational process began. From the summer of 1996 to the fall of 1997, I worked as an apprentice to Frank. He was busy working on developing his company, EZ Energy Corporation, not the real name. We were just about to go public on Alberta Stock Exchange in Canada. When I joined him, since I was late joining his team, I was not able to acquire any of pre-IPO. 
shares at the insider price. It would not have been appropriate for me to invest with the founder seeing it was still new and untested. Yet it was about to acquire a visible block of stock at the IPO price of 50 cents Canadian a share. After sinking all in Colombia and finding what appeared to be a light oil and gut feel in Portugal, is that energy stock was trading at around two hundred dollar to two two dollar to two point thirty five dollar Canadian per share. If that is a qualified if the field in Portugal proves to be as big as we hope it is the price per share of EZ energy to climb to twenty five dollars Canadian that is upside. The also downside with this micro cap stock per share could also go down to zero per share and become worthless. A lot of things are possible when companies are at this stage of development, although is it an achieve very small company the increase in value for what Frank called the front money investor. Would be significant this investor could potentially make a lot of money. The front money investor free IPO accredited investor invested thousand dollar based on frank reputation strain of the board direct of directors and the business expertise of all exploration team but there are no guarantees in other words in the beginning the investment was all p referred to price and no e referred to earning it was initially offered only to frank friends and his inner circle investor at this stage, investment so call investor invest in the people or on the team. The people might more than the product, be it well, gold, an internet product, and we get are far more important than the other part of the equation. The golden rule that money flow management is extremely important at this stage of the company development. Rather than go into the high hope and dream of this company, I think it's best to quote you just the facts of the publicly traded company. The founder of the company put up their time and expertise in the chain for, say, in the com company. In other words, more the founder work for free, investing their time and expertise in return for block or share of stock. The value of their stock when the shoe is very small, so they have very little, if any, earned income, they work without pay, intending to increase the value of their stock, which will generate for portfolio income rather than earn income. Of sure, the founders are paid a small salary for their services. They work for the bigger payout, which comes if they do a good job of growing the company and making it valuable. Since more the director are not throwing a salary, it is in the best interest to increase and keep increasing company value. The personal interest is the same as the shareholder interest which is unable to increase in price per share. The same is true for many of the company officials. They may draw a small salary but are really more interested in the price per share going up. The founders are very, very important to the success of a startup because their reputation and expertise give credibility, confidence, momentum, and legitimacy to protect that often exists only on paper. When the company is public and successful, some of the founders may resign, taking the stock with them, a pursue management team, replacing them and the founders move on to another startup, repeating the process. Okay guys, lady, thanks you so much for listening. See you night at you. Don't forget to have subscribe in order to get more video easily. Thank you.